Hello, I am Frank Rusek. Last summer on August 13, 2018, my daughter Shannon Watts and her children were murdered. They were killed by Shannon's husband and the children's father, Chris Watts. I can't possibly describe how painful the last 11 months have been for myself, my wife, and my son, Frankie Jr. And for everyone else who cared, who cared so much about Shannon and her children. Just dealing with this type of tragedy is more than a family should bear. But I am making a statement today because for the past 11 months, piled on top of pain and the grieving of this devastating loss, our family has been subject to horribly. Cruelly abused, outright bullying, and daily, on a daily basis. I don't want to draw more attention to the viral material that has been posted online. And so I want to go into, I don't want to go into specifics. But I will say that our family, including Shannon and her children and our grandchildren, have been ridiculed, demeaned, slandered, mocked in the most vicious ways you can imagine. We have been subject to false accusations, fake Facebook accounts, hate speeches, and constant stream of ugly, evil insults and attacks. Every time we turn around, there is someone trying to capitalize on our tragedy. <sighs> by, spending, by spreading false rumors and outright, outright lies about Shannon and our grandchildren. We have been subject to threats on our lives, all because we are victims in painful tragedy. This is so wrong. It is cruel, it is heartless, it is flat wrong. It breaks my heart to know that we are not the first family to have to live through this kind of tragedy. And we won't be the last. Families like ours should have the right to be safe and the right of basic level of privacy, the right to mourn in peace. And it boils my blood that my family and other families are dealing with worse imaginable tragedy, have to deal with this kind of cruelty and bullying. It needs to stop. To Congress, or to any person position in power, we are calling on you to do something to pass laws that will protect victims of unspeakable crimes from, from this kind of abuse. Our online social media sites like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, we have contacted you many times, reported this abuse, but no avail. We are calling on you again to do the right thing, to take some responsibility for your platforms and stop this despicable conduct. To the people who feel they are entitled to profit off our loss, we urge you, please stop. And for the people who are interested in this case, who feel compelled to comment and discuss, please stick, stick to the truth. It is painful enough for us to just dealing with the reality, reading the insane conspiracy theories, ugly false rumors, and lies only make it more painful. Finally, to the people who have stood with us, who have supported us and prayed for us and our family, for Shannon and her grandchildren, we can't thank you enough. God bless you all, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Hey, Frank, quick question, and uh, ask this respectfully, but mm -hmm. was there any um, fear about coming forward because you're now giving these people that are saying this stuff even more for their platforms, if you will? No. Mm -hmm. And did you come here, back to Colorado, here today, I mean, for the sole purpose of doing this? Yes, I did. Why? 
Why? Because I felt it needed to be done here at her house. Because that's how bad it is. Yes, it is. I mean, are people, you know, it sounds like a lot of this is happening in the online space. I know you don't want to go too much into mm -hmm. it, but people hide behind those names on the Internet, and it sounds like that's what's kind of going on. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and how that's... Um, basically, it's, just, it's a nonstop thing. Uh, the computer... You know, everybody talking about things that were not done correctly uh, and keep pushing the issues. It's a lot of ugly out there. I a know. lot of ugly. I mean, how is your family, this should be your time to grieve. You went through the court process. This should be your time to, you know, to grieve. And I, it sounds like you haven't even fully been able to do that very well because of everything else. That's been no, we out. haven't. It's not that we're looking at the the stuff that's on YouTubes and Facebook and it gets sent to us. Have you had people contact you directly? Some of these things that are out there, have they contacted the family directly? Uh, not personally on our, you know, live stuff, but on computer type, you know, your phones and stuff. Like Facebook messages, mm -hmm. they try to contact you, some of yeah. these folks? Mm -hmm. What would you tell those people? I mean, I know some of them might watch this or post this on the internet tonight. What would you tell them? Like I've been telling them for the longest time, just stop. Please just stop. Get on with your lives. Leave ours alone. You know, we we can't grieve. It's just a nonstop thing. Um, they know who they are. We have a lot of YouTubers out there that are, I'll mention YouTubers, and they are backing us. But there's a lot out there that are just terrible. You mentioned lawmakers. I mean, is there something that you would hope they can do for legislation? Well, I hope they can do something about these, uh, this YouTube, Facebook, or Google, whoever is involved in the Twitters, and uh, because it's uh, it's not fair to these victims that are going through this. We don't deserve it. And you're speaking on behalf of other people. Who I'm speaking on behalf of other people that I've read already in there, and uh, it's, it's not fair to us. What has been the response, let's say, at Facebook when you said, please help us, you know, and flag this? What's been the response? Nothing. Nothing. It's been nearly a year now since mm -hmm. this crime happened. That's and correct. Is this stopping your ability to, I know you can't move on, but to try and progress forward? Yeah, because we hear it all the time. It's 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 an it's a, uh, ongoing thing. Like I said, there's a lot of people out there that are helping us and they're pushing and they're really really pushing to get us, these people stopped but uh it just seems as though youtube just i don't know what it is with them knowing this is such a big case if you could choose how your daughter's name is being kept alive right now how would you want people online to be talking about her and your granddaughter speak the truth my daughter and my grandchildren were beautiful people. And my daughter was a very smart person, intelligent person. And she needs to be kept that way instead of being ridiculed and talked down about. You mentioned a little bit, uh, let's say a prepared statement, just thanking folks that, you know, can you speak more to that? I mean, that your appreciation and gratitude. Well, we get a lot of, we get a lot of support from all over the world. You're talking England, Philippines, Australia. Everybody sends cards, gifts, thank you know, supporting us. Don't even know us. And, oh, and it's you know, it's it's it hits you in the heart when you see that people out there really do care and don't even know you. Just by seeing what's going on out there, they appreciate you. And speaking to, to the Tri-Town area, is there anything you wanted to say since you're here to the three communities up here that for the support and whatnot? I just, I just thank them all the time when I come out here. They're such a great neighborhood and great people out here. How have you been dealing with the bullying, I mean, over the past couple months, short of what you're doing today? How, how has your family been trying to work through that? Well, we just try to ignore it, but sometimes you just can't ignore it. It's... It's, it's a constant thing on your brain that keeps, they keep throwing it at you. Um, it's sad when you get threats and everything else. How are you planning, 
And I know this is, uh, you know, a personal question. How are you planning to mark that year? What might you guys um, be planning to do? That's ours. Any, anything else? I mean, you know, we don't want the bullies to win. Anything else that you would like to say about your daughter or about the case? No. Uh, my daughter is just, uh, I just want her to be remembered how she was a beautiful person. And uh, just like all this to stop, not just for me, but for everybody else out there. I mean, it sounds like today, really, you're defending her and her. Well, yes. That's how she was. She defended herself, and I'm out here now defending her. It doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be like this. I shouldn't have to be out here doing this. These these Facebook and you know uh, people should be uh, regulating their people instead of just letting them go. Making money off of my daughter's death is ridiculous. There's a few out there making some big money off it. I know the attorneys aren't going to answer a question, uh, at least on camera, but has there been any dialogue with local lawmakers to take this to the next step? That's something that we have discussed. At this point, there's no real update in that area. So you've had some dialogue with lawmakers, representatives, that sort of thing? It's something that we are in the process of. I'm, I'm trying not to go right. too deep into right. it, but that is something that we've considered, something that we're following up on, yes. I, and more than just local, a few national as well. It is something that people are very concerned about. It is pressing and it is something very tragic. I was gonna say with something like this too, it's probably hard because what police agency do you go to, that sort of thing, that's probably where it gets a little muddy. Yeah, it, it honestly, it's been something that we, I, once again, we weren't anticipating talking to a whole much as attorneys in this case, but you're correct. I mean, there is no, and I mean, we called Facebook, we called YouTube, we called Twitter. I mean, honestly, when Frank talks mm -hmm. about the people who were there for him, there's a dedicated group of people who are just going out there and constantly, you know, reporting, trying to get back at these people, essentially to take these things down. But they're, like Frank is saying, there's no regulatory arm of, of YouTube. There's no customer service line for YouTube, no customer service line for Facebook mm -hmm. to contact. And we, we have really tried and racked our brain over a year to get something done. A lot of this is just getting a message out there and hoping somebody yes. responds. Wow. That's what the message is for. Hopefully somebody will hear us. Do you hope maybe that this could change law? I mean, is that also your plea tonight? I'm hoping it'll change law, but I'm hoping that uh, these, you know, Facebook and all these people, you know, really look at what's going on in their, in their thing instead of just trying to um, get subscribers, whatever they want to call it. It's just, uh, it's sad that they allow it to happen. Actually, um, nobody should have to go through this, but in your family, is there anyone specifically who's taking the deepest toll on this cyberbullying? We all are. Mm -hmm. And Frank, I guess going over this past year, is it is it kind of maintained? Is it still? It's oh still yeah, going it's still just going just as strong as it was in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's not only my family; it's other families too. Have you talked with them personally, or any of them? Don't want to talk to them. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.